twitch, a blink, a tick. Tense lower lids raised up us. Most people don't even notice them. But to Dr. Cal Lightman, they tell him everything he needs to know. Are you trying to cover up a crime? No. Are you lying? He's the world's foremost authority in deception detection. The president specifically asked for you. You do know I can tell when you're lying, don't you? And with his hand-picked team of experts, they've perfected the science of solving crimes. You're holding your breath. You're hiding something. Tim Roth. I'll know if you're lying, but why? I steal your secret. I need to go back to the crime scene. Why? Well, I want a taco. Just my luck. Damn it! What? Get your yellow tape out. It's a crime scene. Sweet. You want to see your friends alive again? Yes. Yes, we'll do anything. I want the five million before they die. Three's a better number. I know that I've met Red John now. Shook his hand. I have what you coppers call a lead. You're playing with fire. There are worse things to play with. Has it never occurred to you to ask exactly how Red John is always one step ahead of you? I recalled all the names of the 2,164 people that I met and shook hands with since Red John murdered my family. I'm getting close, Lisbon. I'm getting very close. I will do anything I can to get to Red John. What are you, crazy? I told you not to go over the edge. Let me see your hands. You won't tell me the names on the list. You're sure of that? No offense, but you have no dishonesty in you. I have dishonesty in me. I can put on a front. This is you putting on a front. You're a soldier. It's gonna take you a while to adjust to civilian life. I don't know. Get a flat chair or something? Come on. Good want me for a flat name. Were you the second person to say that to me today? Who's the first? We only just met, and we're gonna go look at a flat. Problem? I'm supposed to be helping you pay the rent. Well, this is more fun. Writing a blog about everything that happens to you will honestly help you. Nothing happens to me. One move. I want some love. He wants to be distracted. Gonna die. That's what people do. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. That's lame. Maybe I should give you a name. But that's a slippery slope. You're only in my head. We have to remember that. <laughs> Evil Corp. A conglomerate of evil. And now I have to help him. Oh, hi. Tyrell Wellick, Senior Vice President of Technology. Elliot. Just a tech. I've been taking morphine. The nigga I know to take withdrawal meds while he use it. This is the world we live in. 
a warm, messy circle of humanity. Exciting time in the world right now. You've been following me. Why? Obviously, you're gonna ask a lot of questions. It's done here, and only here. It ends when you walk out that door and begins when you walk in. Is Elliot around? I tried texting him. Uh, he didn't text me back. Yeah, he's gone for the day. Where is he? Should if I know. I mean, I don't ask details, but he only ever tells me what he wants anyways, right? Can you tell me what happened to that house? First, can you tell me what's your monster? <laughs> This isn't my operation. <laughs> I told you before. You're the key to the whole thing. You're the only force of nature at play here. How do we know if uh, we're in control? This spinning wheel of false highs and true lows will continue. That much I know. I want you to be where you belong. Here with me. These guys don't mess around. And whatever it is you think you're doing free the masses... What do you want? Huh? The guys I work for, they ain't motivated by shit like that. Elliot, you're not saying anything. What's wrong? Nothing. I met Sean Murphy when he was 14 years old. Sean! Just act like a normal human being. He was, and he still is, an extraordinary young man. Autism. Difficulty in communicating. He's high functioning, he's capable of living on his own. Difficulty in using language and abstract concepts. Does it sound like I'm describing a surgeon? <gasps> He's breathing. He saved his life. Who are you? I'm Dr. Sean Murphy. I'm a surgical resident at San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital. And you thought that this board wouldn't have any doubts about hiring a surgeon diagnosed with autism. Justify your decision. He also has savant syndrome. Genius level skills in several areas. He sees things. It's his heart. Adam needs an echocardiogram. No, behave yourself, or you'll be removed from the building. The echo is normal. Show them. And analyzes things in ways that we can't even begin to understand. Again? Again? There. Looks normal to me. It's not normal. This kid was sprayed with glass shards. What if a piece of glass entered his bloodstream? Blood could be leaking behind the heart. You were right. Why were you rude to me when we first met and now you want to be my friend? Which time was it that you were pretending? He's got a serious deficit. The child is alive today because of that deficit. And tomorrow one may be dead because of it. We hire Sean, and we give hope to those people with limitations that those limitations are not what they think they are, that they do have a shot. Never forget, you're the smart one. You can do anything.